You awaken from your dream and look around to find you are getting up in the same place you went to bed. How do you know it was a dream? You awoke from it. Turn on the TV to the familiar show and the coffee pot is waiting with the nectar of the gods. Science says we have approximately 60,000 thoughts a day, most of them the same as the day before. The ego, craving familiarity, will line up the day like a scene out of the movie Groundhog Day. The mind sets the focus. The senses lead the way, and judgment prioritizes them. The evolution of thought process of man follows a triangle. The first apex would be spirituality. The second apex would be philosophy. And the third is science. Early man's focus was driven by instincts. We label this spiritual, human behavior driven by a sense of intuition or gut feeling. The second phase philosophy was born out of the human wanting to know the why of the world, why people acted with certain mannerisms, why it rained, why is his mate yelling at him. This quest for why created philosophy and thinking was the main ingredient. The next phase of thought evolution was wanting to know how. Science was born, and the quest to understand the how the world actually works instead of saying God did it. Even more, thinking was required. Science had a tempestuous relationship with philosophy at that point. Philosophy said God made man and man was the center of the universe. Science backed this up, well, until it didn't. People of science like Galileo would be threatened, then recant. Eventually, science captured the realm of the higher authority. The triangle of thought evolution is used by everyone to process information. We lean on all three, but usually favor one. Science is the new god that most worship. The triangle of thought that creates reality is still just thinking. Thinking creates consciousness. Consciousness creates reality. Reality is a memory that is not real, projected to the future that does not yet exist. Reality is what we call the collective agreement. We live in a dream that we have not awoken from. Now where is that cup of coffee? I remember I left it somewhere. Where are we and where is somewhere?